What's going on, fellas? Potato J here. Yeah! I don't know what I'm doing with these. If you thought I was actually gonna be really good with these, that's called stereotyping, you shouldn't do that. So we all love gimbals, right? They're super smooth, we all love the footage. They're just kind of a pain. I do not wanna take this vlogging with me to New York. So here's the gimbal vlogging setup that I'm going with. Zion or Zeon Crane, I don't know how to say it. The Zeon Crane V2, which is like one of the really small gimbals that hold the Canon M50, 11 to 22 wide angle lens, and little tripod feet. Trying to go minimalistic on this one because it's New York City, tons of walking. I'm not even taking extra lenses or a microphone on top of here. I want something super lightweight, easy to use. I wanna be able to just throw it in my bag and not really worry about it so much. Let's get real, I'm a super lazy vlogger. If this gets any bigger or heavier, I'm just gonna be leaving it in the hotel room. So let's try this out. Is this a good vlogging solution or is this too cumbersome or is it too complicated? One thing's for sure, this is gonna be the most buttery smooth travel video ever. Here's our video of our New York City trip and I'll come back and talk about what it was like using this setup. It looks really nice. Yeah. It's very fashionable. Do these things actually help you sleep though? How do I look? <laughs> Why are you taking off your shoes? We're gonna go party. It's her 30th birthday. We just got to New York City. We're about to go and check out the city. So keep those shoes on. Are you untying it? I'm going to double knot them. We are still very young individuals. We do not go to sleep early. Oh, don't go to sleep. All right, let's go. Let's go get some food. Party. <laughs> Central Park where we're gonna do what I call the camera gimbal workout routine. There's DVDs coming soon on the workout. You gotta keep that gimbal hand strong. Exactly. I'll give you guys a little preview today. I can't show you guys all of it because that's got to be on the DVD. You guys are gonna have to pay $49 for that. these balloons. Secondhand cupcake. He lost the balloon. <laughs> so we just have to figure out how to get that back down here. Don't do it. Dean, I'll just be three years old. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> 
So there you go, pretty much everything from New York City was shot on this, except for my workout DVD trailer that I had to use my iPhone 10 for because I was using this to get my pump on. And there was one shot of Carrie getting her birthday cupcake. They surprised us with that, so I didn't have time to go and grab this. I just whipped this out and started filming. Sometimes you don't get that luxury, like if you're walking down the street and a fight breaks out, you're gonna pull this thing out and start filming, right? At least that's what I would do. I'm sure not all of you agree with me. Some of you would be like, hey, break it up, stop the fight, pull out your camera, put it to 120p, set your shutter speed and your ISO, and then say, continue, go for a knockout. By the way, I just shot this on the standard picture profile on the Canon M50, and I graded it using my custom LUT package I just finished making. There's eight options to choose from, but for this video, I used Kona and Skyscraper. Links in description, please give me all your money. I generally kept the camera on the gimbal for the most part, even if I didn't even turn on the gimbal, if I was kind of in a rush or something, I would just turn on the camera, leave the gimbal off, but just kind of get a shot like that. I think the biggest downside of the setup was not having a microphone like this. The internal microphone in here isn't terrible. It sounds pretty decent as long as you're in a quiet place like our hotel room. But the internal mic does not sound great in a place like a train where there's a lot of noises going around in every direction. This is really dirty, so you don't want to like, touch it with your hands. You can do it this way. No this microphone would have made it sound so much better because this has a much narrower pickup pattern. So it kind of rejects all the sound that's kind of going all around and it would have just picked up my voice if I had this microphone, but I didn't have it. You could balance this gimbal to this setup even with the mic installed, but only thing is you get a lot of restricted motion like that and you can't really go invert it. Actually, you kind of can, as long as you don't put it straight down, but you know, just kind of off to the side like this. I kind of wish I took this microphone now. <laughs> the microphone's bumping a little bit if you go straight down, but as long as you keep it at an angle, you can do invert it. You know, I really wish I realized this before I went to New York City. We're learning together, guys. Little tip, if you want to just get super awesome looking footage, just go into inverted mode, get this camera really low to the ground, go on a super wide angle lens, and go in slow motion, like 60 frames per second or 120, no matter what you pointed at, it's gonna look pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure I was like in inverted mode like 80% of the time. My biggest concern taking this over to New York City was transportation. If you're travel vlogging, you go to a spot, you wanna whip out the camera, you're gonna put it away, go to the next spot, whip it out again. You're gonna do this like over and over all day. The best solution is after every location, when you're done shooting, take everything apart, pack everything nicely back in its case and transport it and then rebuild it every time you wanna shoot again. That's called taking great care of your equipment, but let's get real, anybody that's shot enough travel vlogs will let you know that's not gonna happen. You're gonna take this thing, shove it in your bag, let it get banged up as you hike four miles. My super unofficial solution I found was a rubber band. I would just take it and stick it like that. The main concerns of carrying this thing around built up is that it's gonna swing around, it's gonna hit right there, the microphone's gonna hit, a bunch of things are just gonna get banged up over this knob and stick it just like that. It still wiggles around a little bit, but at least it's not banging into itself. <laughs> And you also don't want to put a ton of pressure on these. These mortars are probably the first thing that's going to burn out. My Brevity backpack has a tripod holder on the side, so that's generally how I carried it around. Another thing I was concerned about was the low light capabilities. This is an F4 lens, not super duper fast. As long as there were lights on the city streets, it looked pretty decent to me. Only time I really wanted that faster lens was when we were on that rooftop. All the gain settings on the camera is maxed out right now. I really wish I brought the faster lens. The F4, F4 lens is really constricting right now. That rooftop would have definitely looked much nicer if I had a faster lens like this 18 to 35 f1.8. But again, this lens is heavy and you need an adapter to get this lens onto the M50. So it becomes a little bit bigger and this camera M50 does not like to really balance on this V2. Again, this is the Xeon Crane V2, which is their smaller, cheaper one. There's a Crane 2. I have no idea who decided to name their product line. I'm pretty sure every single person on this planet thinks that's weird that there's a V2 and then there's a two, which is a newer version and bigger and more expensive. I don't know why, did, why they could have named it anything. But yeah, if you're going to start throwing bigger lenses like this on this camera, then you're going to need to get a bigger gimbal like the Crane 2 or the DJI one, which is going to be pretty exciting. But yeah, overall, this wasn't super hard to use. I might try to use it a little bit more. But what did you guys think of the vlog? Was it too floaty smoothie? This is what 99% of people are using. It's also a very great option. Definitely much, much easier to 
manage, but you don't get that gimbal super smooth stabilization. I don't know, what do you guys think? What would you prefer to vlog on? And also thanks to James Super K for letting me use some of his music. Go check him out, he's got some great music. But yeah, that's about it. If you'd excuse me, I have some practicing to do. That did not go as planned.